Yo, what's going on guys? Today I have to, thought I'd show you guys a little trick I found out today. Um, it was actually an uh, idea I got from Rocket Science. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to reduce the input lag on your uh, on your controller. Um, but all the information, I literally got it from um, Rocket Science. I was reading up on his video and everything like that because I use a strike pack. So I was wondering how do I reduce like the input lag on my controller? And because like I feel like when you use the um when you use a strike pack the input lag is a little bit higher but um so i watched this video today he was showing me i guess how to how to um reduce the input lag on your controller and it's very simple and it's very easy um but i'll show you guys right now what to do so basically all you need is make sure you have a usb cable because this doesn't work on bluetooth this only works on um as you know this only works by lan or by wired cord but uh let me just show you guys what you need to do and like how easy and simple it is to just like to do this so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description i'm gonna have it in the description it's gonna be this link right here uh you don't have to worry about any of this if you don't feel like reading it i'm gonna just take you through all the steps and everything like that um so basically all you want to do is you want to download the second file right here which is this one uh and then you should see a download button right here at the bottom of the screen you just want to click on download it's going to download something right here at the bottom of the screen after that you just want to take all of these files right here and you want to extract it to the desktop so just, um extract it and then after that since i already have it extracted i'm not going to do it again i was just showing you guys what to do you want to minimize out of that and um you just want to create a new folder so just like go create new folder you'll see like you're going you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff like just uh Where's the folder? Here it is. You're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff like these. You're gonna see all these on your desktop and you just wanna drag all these into a, a new folder. And then um, after you do that, you just wanna go to, to, you just wanna open it up and you wanna go to driver. You wanna go to setup. And then you wanna go to, you just wanna click yes. So when you first open the program, the first thing that's gonna pop up is it's just gonna say like devices and it's gonna say mice. You want to switch that to all so you can see all the devices connected um if you are using a strike pack and uh it's gonna pop up as wireless controller so the reason why you know is because just now i just now unplugged my controller so you see wireless controller went away right and watch when i plug it back in that is one way right there see now wireless controller popped up so that is one way you can identify uh which controller um or which name device name is it so i just unplug it and see which one goes away and then i plug it back in and everything like that um once you find the one that you're looking for you just go to wireless controller and basically what he did was he found a way to i guess overclocking the rate it actually lowered the input like on his controller so he got a, a faster response time i'm not directly sure if he got like zero milliseconds response time or input lag but it was probably something close to that he actually explained a whole video. I'm gonna leave his video in the, in the description showing like everything that he did. He like goes into depth about it and everything like that. Um, but yeah, that's mostly it. And you just wanna go to rate. And you wanna make sure this, you just wanna go to your, your device right here and you just wanna click install service. And that some little screen's gonna pop up and you'll know when this, you'll know when this is, um when it's installed service cause this will change to one. Right now it will be at like five or something like that so look for the device name that has a five in it and that should be it so just press install sir install service after you do that you just want to go to the wireless controller and this is going to be on default it's going to be set to default at rate you just want to switch that over to a thousand like that and you'll, you're basically set that's all you need to do so yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys like comment i appreciate all that stuff all that goody goody stuff and i'm gonna see all you guys later but this was just like a little short video you know i i just thought i'd bring you guys um something a little different but i hope you guys enjoyed the video all right i'll see you all later peace